Hi friends, this video is about finding reliable medical information online. If you watched my last video about science back home micro workout, I did mention about a doctor, right? An incident that has happened to me five years back. So the incident is like this. I went to this hospital and then the doctor prescribed a medicine for fever. And then I googled this medicine and the first result, you know, the Google search result was that a document from the Gazette, you know, the government of India Gazette. And the document says that this medicine has already been banned five years prior to that incident. So that incident taught me not to trust anyone so blindly. Well, you might have noticed three themes that come often in my YouTube videos are health, nutrition and fitness. And where do I get the data for all these episodes? Are these reliable sources that I use? Well, simply asking Dr. Google doesn't work as vast majority of these online resources are not reliable and Google does not exercise the quality controls and quality standards while curating these results, you see. In times of pandemic like this, you know, the novel coronavirus pandemic, there is a fresh inundation of fake news. So verifying the credibility of what is being circulated is of very crucial importance, friends. For example, recently I came across a document circulated through the WhatsApp and it says that lemon juice is the best cure for novel coronavirus. Another document says that the coronavirus is transmitted through 5G network. All these are fake news. But how do you verify the veracity of all these news? Well, my advice is straightforward. Stick with most reputed credible resources for the medical information and mistrust all the rest. Well, I suggest everybody to have a personal copy of this book. This is called Harrison's Principle of Internal Medicine, the gold standard for every medical professionals. Another book I suggest is Rang and Dale's Pharmacology to know all about drugs and its mode of action. Well, you can go for ebook version as well or the printed version, which is not terribly expensive, friends. And these two books are the most reliable gold standards for medicine and to know more about the drugs. Well, how about online? My advice is just same. Stick with the most reputed websites for the medical information. For general health or procedures, you know, the medical procedure, I can recommend you six the best websites. The first one and my favorite is Mayo Clinic. You know, the Mayo Clinic is one of the most famous clinic and most respected and reputed clinic in the United States. So their website is well curated and contains only most reliable medical information. The second site is health.gov. That site is also very good. The third one is Hopkins Medicine. Fourth is NHS Choices. It's a UK based National Health Service website and that is really good website. Fifth is Howard Health by Howard University and sixth is Medline Plus. COVID-19 related information as well as for infectious diseases in general, I recommend Centers for Disease Control that is CDC as well as World Health Organization, these two websites. For drugs, interactions, etc., I recommend you Daily Med. The website is managed by NIH that is National Institutes of Health so it is very well reputed. Well, the gold standard for evidence-based medicine is Cochrane Systematic Reviews. It's based in the UK. Cochrane is my primary tool of reference while writing or making informative videos like this on health, fitness and nutrition. Cochrane is far better than NCBI PubMed. You know why? Because Cochrane is a systematic review and it has got far more inferential power than peer-reviewed research. As explained in my previous video about immune boosters, Systematic reviews collate results of several independent peer-reviewed research, you know, research studies and establish whether or not there is a conclusive evidence about a specific treatment. You know, in the Cochrane website and to explain to you what the Cochrane is all about, just look at here this logo very carefully. So these lines represent something called confidence interval and this center line represents something called null hypothesis. These two are statistical concepts. So basically, these, each line is a summary of one study. There are seven studies. So out of these seven studies, many studies said that, you know, all the studies is about the corticosteroids effect on, uh, you know, the expectant mothers to prevent the premature birth. So out of that, some studies said that corticosteroids are effective, while some other studies say that corticosteroids are not effective. So out of seven, the, the, you know, the overall conclusion remains elusive unless you combine all these results and summarize the finding. That exactly is what this Cochrane Systematic Review is doing. So they summarize all seven studies and then that is what this 
diamond represents so diamond means that it is not touching this null hypothesis that means that this is significant so after this summary has come the doctors started recommending corticosteroids for mothers higher risk of this premature birth so this kind of uh, systematic reviews are indispensable for medical literature you can search inside the Cochrane website and read the summaries you know the Cochrane summaries to inform yourself about various medical choices for example should I go with drug A or drug B or drug C while well, all these are equally effective or should I go with a medical procedure or not for example menstruation and iron supplement So I can simply search your menstruation iron in Cochrane evidence. So as you see here, iron supplementation taken daily for improving health in menstruating women. Exactly, this is what I would like to know. Is there any significant evidence? Yes or no? As you can read it carefully, keywords, quality of evidence and conclusion. You can read the conclusion section. Daily iron supplementation effectively reduces the prevalence of anemia and iron deficiency raises hb iron stores and improves exercise performance and reduces symptomatic fatigue so there is an evidence there is a good quality evidence in support of iron supplementation during menstruation so this is how to make use of this site cochrane systematic reviews i usually don't trust or refer articles from newspapers for media trust only the most reputed names like new york times or bbc don't trust in tabloid newspaper websites like Sun in the UK. In India, I have only one recommendation for the newspaper that is The Hindu. For UK media, go with BBC, Guardian and Independent. Reliability of Telegraph is questionable. I tell you again, do not trust in tabloids like Sun or Daily Mirror or Daily Mail. Even though these tabloids are published in United Kingdom. For the US, go with New York Times. NPR that is National Public Radio or the Washington Post. Well, don't trust Fox News or Washington Times or New York Post. These are tabloids. Well, reliability of USA Today is questionable. Also mind that these reliable newspapers are not infallible. For example, New York Times is really good. Still, it contains a lot of fallacious articles, BBC as well. So I suggest you do not trust these media sources overly. Well, what if you have a question that you would like to get answers from the internet? Q&A forums, you know, the question and answer forums like Reddit or Quora are not at all reliable friends. Do not trust these forums at all. A popular alternative is eHealth or online doctor websites. My recommendation is HealthTap. They have an Android as well as iPhone app as well where only registered medical practitioners can answer to your questions. Well, Practo is another option, but reliability is questionable and I don't trust Practo at all. For the same matter, I also don't trust WebMD or Healthline or those websites. I have zero trust on anything circulated through WhatsApp because WhatsApp is the world's largest fake news factory, friends. So how to objectively grade these different websites for the quality of information provided? There is a concept in science called health information quality or HIQ. Each website can be graded using a set of HIQ criterions. Arguably, the most famous HIQ is JAMA Code. You know, J-A-M-A is a very famous journal, Journal of American Medical Association. So the HIQ called JAMA code is quite simple and intuitive. Each website is graded using four points. Point number one, does the author name is mentioned anywhere in the article or the YouTube videos? Point number two, is the date mentioned in the article or YouTube video, the date of publication? Point number three, are external references or bibliography provided as part of the description of the YouTube video or the article? And point number four, ownership details of the website provided or not. Health on net, that is Hong, H-O-N, code, you know, that is a consortia based in Geneva, Switzerland, is uh, another equally well-known and reputed and reliable HIQ. I use Hong code every time whenever I write an article or create a YouTube videos on health related subjects like this, you know, while researching, I always use this H-O-N-C code. Hong Kong maintains a database of reliable medical or health websites with page transparency. 
So page transparency means sites with obvious conflict of interests are not included. Perhaps you might recall conflict of interest which I have featured in several of my previous videos. One example would be a website declaring that immune boosters, you know the herbal immune boosters protect you from AIDS and they are selling the exact same product on their website. That's an example of sites with low page transparency and these are excluded from Hong Kong index. To go to the Hong Kong site, just click on that link hong.ch, the link on the description section of the YouTube video. Right now we are in the Hong Kong search, so it's basically a site specific Google search inside the Hong Kong. So instead of performing an usual Google search, simply do the same search here inside the Hong Kong. For example, I would like to know whether turmeric is good for PCOS. So all I have to do is turmeric and PCOS and hit the search button and you will see that all these uh, results are uh, indexed with Hong Kong. So all these are reliable information instead of simply searching in the Google. Another option is to simply click here in this uh, uh, the tools section of this one to install the Google uh, Chrome plugin. So click on the tools and then search down as you can see Hong Kong toolbar this is what you want to install so just click here to install that into the Chrome or the Firefox if you use as you can see I already have it so that is why it's asking to remove the Chrome if you haven't installed so probably you will get an option to install it so once you install it you're going to have a small icon here on the top of your screen so what it does is that this the, the color of this change into blue whenever you are in a safe site or reliable site for example let's go to Mayo Clinic site myoclinic.org so the moment I'm in the Mayo Clinic as you can see that the color has changed into blue this also does help you to refine your Google search result for example let me do a normal Google search turmeric and PCOS so as you can see out of a lot of web result, at least two results, I can see that with Hong Kong icon. So these sites are reliable as per the Hong Kong website. So in summary, I suggest everybody to own two books. One is Harrison's Principle of Internal Medicine and the another one is Rang and Dale's Pharmacology, no matter you are a medical professional or not. Because access to quality medical information is important for everybody. To be informed is everybody's right. For online information, go with reputed websites as suggested in this video instead of tabloid newspapers. Instead of regular Google search, I search inside Hong Kong website because these informations are reliable sources. I also use their Google Chrome plugin. While making important decisions about various medical procedures, stick with Cochrane reviews and Cochrane summaries. Remember that story I told you about my ex-doctor who was not updated? Not all doctors are like him, but don't trust anyone so blindly. Skepticism is the basic tenet of science. Be a well-informed healthcare user. Stay informed, but don't self-medicate or self-diagnose. Be aware of conflict of interest and avoid sales trap. Also beware of propaganda and fake news. My next video is all about how to immune yourself from the fake news. So stay tuned. If you like this video, please click thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share it in relevant groups. My best wishes for a fit and healthy life.